Step 1. The Power of Early Investments The path towards enduring riches begins with taking the initial step, and this step is to invest promptly and wisely. Let's now explore the amazing realm of compounding. Visualize this. You're sowing a seed to grow a tree. As each year passes, the tree expands, bringing forth more branches and leaves. This is essentially compounding. Your investments, paralleling a growing tree, flourish not just from the initial seed, but also from the growth they have already undergone. But wait, this tale isn't merely about sowing the seed and then sitting back. It revolves around sowing the apt seed in the ideal soil. That's where shrewd investment options come in, be it stocks, bonds, or real estate. Decisions backed by thorough research can significantly boost your wealth over time. Bear in it's not only about when you embark on this journey, but also about where you invest your funds. Hence, make the initial step significant. Sow that seed, let the might of early investments drive you towards enduring riches. Moving on to step 2. Budgeting and saving for success. Let's unpack this people. The term budget may sound daunting to even the biggest spendthrifts. However, at its core, it's nothing more than a financial plan. A well-structured budget can be your compass towards financial independence. It aids in the effective distribution of your income, ensuring you can care for your necessities while also allowing for your desires. Now, on to savings. Keep in mind, every cent saved is a cent earned. Consistent savings, regardless of how minor, can accumulate into substantial wealth over time. Commence by reserving a specific percentage of your monthly income. It might be 10%, 15%, or even higher. Here's an expert tip. Consider your savings as an obligatory payment. Prioritize it. Budgeting and saving may lack the glitz, but they're the foundation stones of your financial stronghold. Moving on to step 3. The diversification game. Envision the world of investments as a lavish buffet. You wouldn't pile your plate with just one type of delicacy, right? On the contrary, you'd explore a variety of options. A taste of this, a hint of that. This essentially describes diversification. Diversification is an investment strategy involves spreading your money across multiple asset classes to minimize risk and maximize returns. It's akin to storing your financial eggs in multiple baskets. If one basket topples, still safe with the others. Suppose you pour all your money into a single company's stock. If the company plummets, your investment follows suit. But, if you distribute your funds among different stocks, bonds, real estate, and even crypto, you're not betting everything on a single horse. This way, regardless of the market's volatility or stability, you're always secure and ready. Diversify to multiply. That's game rule of the diversification game. Welcome to step four, goal setting for financial success. Ask yourself, what's a journey without a destination? In this module, we will delve the necessity of defining precise financial objectives. Let's start with a scenario. Imagine initiating a road trip without a notion of your endpoint. Initially, it might seem thrilling, the taste of uncertainty. However, soon enough, you may identify yourself astray, running out of fuel, and pondering your initial motives. This is a precise mirror of adopting the finance realm without firm objectives. Establishing financial goals works like charting your bearings on a geographical chart. They present guidance and intent. They're your milestones of progression, your incentive, and your key to financial prosperity. Whether your target is accumulating funds for a new residence, investing for your retirement, or building a monetary safety buffer, your aim should be particular, measurable, attainable, pertinent, and time-limited, or smart, to put it briefly. Always remember your financial journey isn't a random stroll in a park. It's a arranged journey towards wealth accumulation. Fix your eyes on the target, and the route will become more transparent. Step 5. The Frugal Millionaire do lavish vehicles and high-end fashion denote wealth? For those who truly understand wealth, the answer is no. Let's dive into the art of living modestly. Welcome to the universe of the thrifty millionaire. It's an arena where richness is gauged not by ostentatious displays of wealth, but by a robust financial safety net. Being frugal doesn't equate to being stingy but rather showcases a discerning approach to expenditure, prioritizing necessities over luxuries, and channeling the extra funds into growing your wealth. Contemplate this scenario. Instead of splurging on the newest model of smartphone every year, suppose you were to use your current phone for three years and invest the money saved. Over time, the compounded returns on these savings could greatly amplify your wealth. Consider the example of the living in your neighborhood, navigating the streets in a car that has seen better days and dressing in plain clothes. They are not cutting corners because they lack money, 
but because they comprehend the worth of each dollar and the strength of savings. So, when you're contemplating that latest designer purse or luxurious getaway, question yourself. Is this a necessity or is it just a desire? Keep in mind, true wealth is often unseen. Step 6. Networking and Relationship Building You've possibly heard the phrase, your network equates to your net worth. Now, let's break it down. In the realm of finance and business, it's beyond just the knowledge possess, but significantly about the individuals you're connected with. Let's delve into some of the most prosperous business collaborations. Consider Bill Gates and Paul Allen, the masterminds behind Microsoft, or think of Larry Page and Sergey Brin, the duo that paved the way for Google. These partnerships exemplified not just the union of brilliant minds but also the construction of robust networks that fueled their business growth. Networking and nurturing relationships isn't solely about making acquaintances. It's about identifying mentors, partners, and collaborators. It's about assimilating knowledge from others and utilizing their connections to unlock opportunities you weren't aware of. Bear in mind, networking is reciprocal. It's not only about your personal gains but also about your contributions. It's centered around constructing relationships that are mutually beneficial and foster growth and success. Build bonds, not barriers. Your next big break could be just a greeting away. Step 7. The Discipline Factor The journey to wealth is akin to running a marathon, requiring consistent effort and discipline. Let's dissect this further. Just as a marathon runner sustains a steady pace, a disciplined financial journey calls for unwavering consistency. It's all about making sound and strategic decisions every single day. Imagine this, you've initiated your investments early, you're saving diligently, and your portfolio is well diversified. But lacking discipline you might feel inclined to tap into your savings for a spontaneous luxury trip or an enticing new gadget. Be aware these are obstacles in your marathon to wealth, so how can you maintain discipline? First, your financial goals in sight, they serve as excellent motivators. Second, automate your savings and investments. Let technology shoulder the burden. Lastly, cultivate patience. Building wealth is a gradual process, not an immediate occurrence. Though it's challenging, it's definitely worthwhile. Uphold your financial discipline and likely to cross the finish line successfully. Stick to the path and the rewards will invariably follow. Step 8. Giving back. A fundamental principle of wealth is not just accumulation, but also contribution. This step brings us to an essential element of long-lasting prosperity, philanthropy and positively influencing society. It goes beyond merely donating to charities, it involves a strategic utilization of your resources, creating a tangible difference. We can draw inspiration from successful individuals like Warren Buffett and Gates. These magnates have committed to distribute the majority of their wealth to address some of the world's most urgent issues. They comprehend that giving back is not only ethically right, but it also enhances their own lives. Contributing back is an investment in society and subsequently in oneself. It may return to you in unexpected ways, it boosts your public reputation, fortifies your community, and encourages a series of benevolent actions. Therefore, don't merely strive for wealth. Aim to be wealthy ways that have true significance. Remember, the hand that gives reaps rewards. Step 9. Long-term planning. Wealth isn't confined to the present, it'll echo through generations. Let's delve into future-focused financial strategies. Sustainable wealth doesn't just stem from earning money but also from preserving it. Imagine your wealth as a centuries-old oak tree that you're nurturing not only for yourself, but also for the generations that follow. What are the methods to ensure this? Initially, lay down a robust estate plan involving wills, trusts, and power of attorney. It might not be the most exciting topic dinner but it's fundamentally important. Following that, deliberate on succession planning, who's going to handle your wealth when you're unable to do so? This role could be filled by family-trusted advisors or a blend of both. Next, explore wealth transfer tactics. Consider options like life insurance and charitable trusts. Lastly, instruct the upcoming generation. Make them aware of money management, investing, and the responsibility that comes with wealth. Always plan for the future because that's where you will spend the rest of your life. Step 10. The Learning Curve. Never stop learning, a phrase you've likely heard before, rings true when it comes to wealth creation. Continuous learning is the final cornerstone in building lasting wealth. The world doesn't stand still, and should you. The ways to make money are ever-changing and if you're not evolving with it, you're likely falling behind. Look at industry titans like Bill Gates and Warren Buffett for example. Their insatiable quest for knowledge and fresh perspectives has been a pivotal factor in their outstanding success. 
Your learning doesn't need to be confined to finance either. Dive into various subjects. Get to grips technology, psychology, sociology. A broad understanding of various fields can offer you a singular advantage in your wealth-building endeavors. In essence, keep your curiosity piqued. That spark of learning ablaze. It's a never-ending journey that will continuously broaden your horizons and as a result, your wealth. In mind, the more you learn, the more you earn. So there you have it, the 10 things you must do if you want to be rich forever. The power of early and wise investments, the discipline of budgeting and saving, the strategy of diversifying your investments, the clarity of setting financial goals, and the virtue of living below your means, these are your foundational stones. Networking and building relationships, staying disciplined, giving back to society, planning for the long term and continuously learning, these are your pillars. Together they build the mansion of lasting wealth. The beauty of these strategies is that they're not just about accumulating wealth, but also about creating a life of value, satisfaction, and impact. It's about making your money work for you, and not the other way around. So, let's get started. Implement these tips, stay consistent, and watch your wealth grow. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Remember your journey to wealth starts today.